Hi, I am Jocelyn Launderville. I just graduated from Alta Aurelia last year, which means I'm a freshman in college. Um, I'm currently going to school at Iowa Central, which is in Fort Dodge. Um, it's a community college, which means it's a two-year program. And I picked it because I don't know what I want to do yet. I'm focusing on gen eds, so community colleges are really good for that because they um, are a much cheaper way than to go rather than like a university especially like when you don't know what you want to do and you might be switching your major a lot because you're paying for all of those classes and if you end up paying for a class that you don't need that's money wasted um so <clears throat> yeah um i also liked iowa central because i'm only like an hour and 15 minutes away from home i'm from alta so like an hour 30 from aurelia probably somewhere around there um I'm here focusing on my gen eds, which means like all of your basic classes, your gen eds transfer really easily. So for someone that doesn't know what they want to do, um, later when I do decide, those tr those credits will transfer towards the major that I'm wanting to pursue later. They're also like really transfer friendly with like universities like Iowa State or UNI or Iowa, whichever one you decide to go to. So um, yeah, I live on campus in Fort Dodge. Um, I'm in my room right now. It is my, my Iowa Central has a lot of different like living options that you can pick for male athletes because there's a lot of athletes at community colleges. Um, there's like a two person dorm, the typical dorm style. Um, for me, I'm living in just a regular dorm on Iowa Central, I guess what we call them. Um, which means I have a living room, a kitchen, a really small dining room, a bathroom, and then we have two bedrooms. So, I have a lot of roommates. I have four roommates. Typically, you'd put two in one in the smaller bedroom and then three in the other bedroom. Um, or you can put one person out in, like, the small dining area because it's, like, a little corner so they get their own little section for themselves, which is what we chose to do. Um, but it's, it's pretty nice. Like, I, I have my own closet, my own bed. Like, it's really comfy. Um, and there's a lot of space, so you, you get a variety. You're not always just stuck in one room all the time. Um, and there is, like, honor dorms on campus. Uh, the difference between my dorm style and the honor dorm is that they have an, a second bathroom. So, they have two bathrooms. I only have one, they have two. And the way that you qualify for those is you have to have a 3.5 GPA or higher in high school to qualify for those. So, focus on your grades if you like to have two bathrooms. Um, I think my favorite thing about being at Iowa Central or just away at college in general is just it's all new and it's like you get to pick what you want to do and how you want to do it like your class schedule like um there's so many new people you get to befriend or you can avoid certain people you can stay in your room if you want you can go out like it's just all up to you like it's just a big variety and you can do with it as you please on the downside, I'd say that there is a lot of free time. Personally, for myself, I know some of my roommates have it differently, but, like, all of my classes are done by 1230, which makes it really nice. Like, I get to come home and nap, or I could go to work, like, whatever. But with that free time, like, it does, it can get boring. So, just having things to do is, like, really helpful. Like I said, working, or I like my naps. So, um, yeah. Um, if there was something I could change... It would definitely be the pet situation. You can have pets on campus, um, but they have to be, like, approved 30 days in advance to moving in. So, like, if we moved in August 18th, I think. So, like, July 18th. You really have to get on it. And so, none of my roommates and I, like, did that. And all of our pets are at home. But I wish we had a pet here. Like, a dog. I wish we had a dog. But it's just a long process to go through, so I kind of wish it wasn't. Um, my future career, like I said, I don't know what I want it to be yet because I'm just focusing on my gen eds. But they're, like, just focusing on your gen eds leaves it up to literally anything that you want it to be in the future. And all of your credits transfer later, and you save lots of money by doing it that way because then you don't have to take those classes later or, like whatever so again I don't know I think I want to go into something with kids and I'm not always at a desk but like I can be like just something with variety and probably kids but um not sure that's why gen eds is a really great option because you get to like there's no rush like I got I have plenty of time to pick what I want that to be and um 
lots of like different classes that you can take like it's super flexible with that um my biggest advice to you guys as middle schoolers would be to take a lot of college visits i didn't take a ton until my senior junior senior year of high school which is okay you can do that but i think like start taking them beginning of your junior year like get on that process sooner rather than later because you don't have to make any decisions just visit just go and see like what you like and you're probably gonna like a university rather than a community college because they're so much bigger and have more opportunities but like still take a community college into consideration um and when you take your visits make them like personal visits rather than like a whole tour day visit or a group visit that way the tour guide or whoever's talking to you like focuses on you and your specialty and like you just can have a more personal relationship with the campus and the people. I, I really enjoy that more. So, And if you come to Iowa Central, I can give you a tour here. So um, just let me know. But, yeah, I hope that helps. Good luck with your square.